here we are in our in our dashboard workbook and I'm on the dashboard worksheet tab what we're gonna do in this exercise we're gonna build out our top three sales managers or sales employees part of our dashboard here we're gonna use our calculations having built out our sales employees pivot table let's take a look okay the first thing we want to do is we want to create a text box and put our top three sales manager label on it so we're gonna come over to our insert ribbon tab and click over on our text box and then I'm just gonna click anywhere and I'm gonna type in top three sales managers and I'm gonna make sure that the font size is 11 and it is I'm gonna reposition this in the G column here in row 3 so the left sides over there in the G column next I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find these items here our three horizontal yellow shapes I'm gonna to click to select the first one I'm gonna press control and click the other two so they're all selected now I'm gonna start dragging these up I'm gonna position them here with the left side in the G column here we're right about there so the last one is roughly between 9 and 10 row just like that next I'll deselect those and come over to my calculations because we need to determine who the top three salespeople are or sales managers so in order to do that I'm gonna come over to this pivot table here I'm just gonna select this range and it's a pivot table I'm gonna copy that and paste it over in column F here F11 so I'm gonna use my shortcut here I'm gonna put my cursor right here on the border till four pointed arrows up here in my cursor I'm gonna press control click and drag over and then just like that so now I have my pivot table over here and from here I'm gonna come over to the pivot fields pivot table fields I'm gonna choose all because I want to see all the tables available and I'm gonna move my month flag from column over to filter and then from there I'm gonna come up and remind myself who am I looking for I'm looking for the salespeople so here's my master sales employees I'm gonna click to expand that and then I'm gonna drag full name down to rows just like that next I want to filter this out so that it displays only the latest sales so I'm gonna click my filter here for my month expand that out and there's latest I'm gonna deselect previous click OK now here we have our values sorted out to show only the latest I want to right click this first cell G12 of my sales values I'm gonna sort this largest to smallest here's sort largest to smallest and there we have it here's our top three salespeople what I want to do is I'm gonna select these first four rows here or I should say three rows with the header I'm gonna copy them and then I'm gonna to come to cell I11 I'm gonna right click on there and go to paste special and then paste a link so now it's linked now I want to format my values here I'm gonna select the three values here I'm gonna make that accounting and remove the change and then I want to remember what cells these are in so these are all in I 12 through J 14 okay now I'm gonna come over to my dashboard worksheet and I want to apply my text boxes here one text box will have the name of the salesperson the other text box in each shape here will have the value so I'm going to select my April here. I'm just going to do Control C, and then I'm just going to click anywhere and just do Control V. So there it is. It's white right now. It's hard to see, but I'm going to move it up so it appears there. I may adjust the height up just a little bit. Make sure that this is in the center, and there we have it. I'm going to expand it out a little bit, and then I want to change this value in the formula here. I'm going to click inside and change this from A7 to I12 just as we remembered it I'm gonna press control enter there it is so that's the name of the first salesperson I'm gonna press control D two times and it duplicates that text box I'll reposition these just like that now if I want to make sure they're exactly positioned I'm gonna select them all I hold control and click them I'm gonna make the right alignment inside there and also come over to my alignment here align left so now they're perfectly symmetrical I'll deselect and then I'm gonna select the second one here and I'm gonna just change this from 12 to 13 there it is I maybe expand it out there's a longer name there come to this one and change this one to as you may have guessed 14 I 14 there it is from here I'm gonna select my first text box and duplicate it again reposition it to where it's just over here I'm gonna make make this uh, right aligned here so it kind of snugs it to the right because these are the values that are going to appear here now let's come back to our calculations and just refresh our memory this is J12 I'm going to come over to my dashboard change this reference 
to J12. Press enter, there it is. Now let me narrow that down a little bit. I'm gonna duplicate that two times, control D, and then reposition them in the general area we want them. There, and I'm gonna select them all again. I'm gonna right align them. Align right. There we go. And I'm gonna make sure that the alignment is all left. Good, and it is. Next, I'm gonna come down to the Hudson value. Change this from J12 to, as you may have guessed, J13. And I'll press enter. Do the same one to this. As you know, it's 14. Look how easy that is. And that's all there is to it. We have a relatively nice looking dashboard being built out. I'm gonna align my shapes here a little bit. See how this one's a little to the right? This one's this one and this one are aligned nicely. So I'm gonna select these. I'm gonna select them all, right click, ungroup. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing just a little extra work here. Ungroup them all, deselect. That way I can select only the shapes there. I'm gonna do a right alignment, align, excuse me, a left alignment. Now they're all snugged in. That looks considerably better. If I want to, I can come back and, oops, select all these shapes again, and then regroup them. Right click on it and group. That's up to you. I'm gonna leave it at that. In the next exercise, we're gonna build out our sales by product category down in this area here. All right, I hope that was helpful, and we'll see you in the next exercise.